You know, I ought to explain that Rutland is the smallest county in England and therefore if it had a television station it would have the smallest budgets and therefore the cheapest looking programs. So we were, it was a license to make cheap television jokes. So I thought what is cheaper than doing a parody of A Hard Day's Night? Black and white, you know, speed it up sometimes. Uh, like Benny Hill, you know, um, four guys, wigs, tight trousers, pointy shoes, running up out of field, job done. So I came up with a kind of song which is a list, really. I feel good, I feel bad, I feel happy, I feel sad. Am I in love? Oh, I must be in love. But the, the middle eight was kind of interesting. I wasn't really trying to do a Beatles song. I thought the visuals, visuals would take care of it. So anyway, I, I went along to Eric and said, I've got this idea for a, a parody of A Hard Day's Night. And he went, oh great, because I've got this idea about a documentary maker who's so dull, the camera runs away from him. So these two things were sort of put together in Rutland Weekend Television. Then, I mean, somewhere in America, somebody was offering the, uh, the Beatles $20 million each to go and perform together again. And Saturday Night Live and Lorne Michaels, the producer, were running with this gag. You know, they did a different thing every week. And one week they got George Harrison to come on. And I remember, you know, sort of Lorne was there waving this, you know, $3,000 in cash under George's nose. You know, because that was the amount that the unions paid for musicians for live television. All this can be yours, George, you know, just get the boys back together. And George sort of actually saying, oh, what, all of that for me? Then Lorne snatching it back saying, no, 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 you've got to share it with the others. Maybe, maybe you don't have to tell Ringo. This was the kind of joke that was going on. And then, of course, they used the, um, the idea of using the Ruttle clip of, uh, from Rutland Weekend Television. And, and they used the pretense of saying, well, we've got Eric Idle to host the show because he said he can get the Beatles together for $300 and in the end it was a bad phone line and we haven't got the Beatles, we got the Ruttles and so they showed it on Saturday Night Live and the mailbag was amazing, you know, people just wrote in and um, in some cases they, they got Beatles albums and, and crossed out Beatles and put Ruttles it was, you couldn't ignore it so Lorne went downstairs at NBC and sort of came back with the budget to make the now mockumentary you know, known as the, the Ruttles All You Need Is Cash, the story of the prefab fall. I feel good, I feel bad, I feel happy.